Hello and welcome back to our channel. We are Rachel and Harry and this is episode 2. Good morning everybody. Um, today we are going to go to Castellanova, to the river beach and to the castle and we might try and go to Penamacor somewhere where we want to check out and maybe go to the Marateca, the um, lake. So um, it's another beautiful sunny day. It's not too hot yet, which is why we're getting out. And um, so yeah, come along with me. So we arrived at Castellanova River Beach and we came back because the last time we were here, it was October and this time it was the end of May and we wanted to see how different it looked. Again, it was early and there wasn't anyone around, nothing was open and it was just beginning to be the start of the season. The water had been now dammed, so in preparation for people to swim. On the other side, is a place where you can sit and have picnics and there are places sh nice and shady. And you can walk all the way up to the top, across a little bridge and down the other side which we did do later on. This video was filmed at half past ten and it's absolutely baking hot already. So this is at the top of the castle in Castellanova. There's a little seat there and I'm just going to show you the view. The view in the distance, far out you can see Monsanto, kind of there. joined by another couple but before then there was literally no one else here as we get used to in Portugal basically just being the only ones here absolutely beautiful and I'll just take you out the other side now as Harry just chilling in the shade say hi to your fans <laughs> The castle is 12th century and is described as new, Novo, which is where the name comes from. It was damaged in 1755 by an earthquake. Okay, so we went to Panama Cor, um, but I didn't video anything. It was ridiculously hot. At that point, it was 33 degrees. It was 44 degrees in the car. Um, we went to Panama Cor, had a little wander around, found somewhere to eat, which we thought was a cafe. Actually, turned out it, it was a restaurant. We thought we'd just have a quick snack. We ended up having a two-course meal, which was like ridiculous but amazing. Um, for eight euros each, so that was good. Um, and then we came back, and now I've just done some editing, so it can all go on Instagram, so you can see it. And then um, now. We are literally just chilling out for the rest of the day. Whilst we were chilling out, we had a little visitor and we called him Flash.
he stayed for a while and it was just lovely to watch him. But very soon he was off. The next day was my birthday and we went to Fragus de Sao Samao, a panoramic viewpoint with a wooden walkway that has 427 steps down, two waterfalls and superb views over the region. So this is the walkway that we're going to be going all the way down. And then if you look around, I'm too scared to move. It's a big old way down to the bottom where the waterfall is, which is where we're going. So let's go. So we decided we would go to Fundao and um, go and have a look at the market. So we found a little app that says you where you can park for free. So we did that first of all, and then we um, we parked and then we wandered to the market. Had a little wander around the market. Um, and then we decided to find the um, information. So we got our little map and had a wander around. Then we found a little park where there was a fun down sign and I said to Harry I wanted a photo. Um, then we found Lidl because we were hungry by this point. Got some bits for lunch, came back and had our food. And so I think that we are going to have a little wander to the next village called Alpendrina. Is it Alpendrina? Alpedrina, yeah. Really lovely village where we would really like to live. But um, there's some bits and pieces there. So we're going to have a wander there, around there this afternoon. So we had our little walk around Alpedrina late afternoon. Went to the palace with a fountain at the entrance up the Roman road to the entrance. The palace is now a museum and it has been a hospital, a courthouse, printing house and is now a museum visitor centre with a beautiful view from the top. The next day was Harry's 50th birthday and we went to a village called Adana Vela 
recommended by our good friend Rogério. It is one of the oldest towns in Portugal with a history of Roman settlement dating back to 16 AD. Idana, meaning the old, has been described as a modest village with a rich historical background. Just a quick video on the bridge. Hear the church bells striking because it's midday. Very old. Happy birthday to Harry as well. Wow. Lots of gatos everywhere whilst walking to our restaurant, all basking in the sunshine. And then we stumbled upon a village square with a beautiful monument. Lots of beautiful things along the way. I was going to look across the side and say, when the water is higher, it be a good way across, but there's no water at the moment. It's literally so in Portugal if a stork makes its nest you are not allowed to touch it or move it or do anything with it absolutely blinking huge as well my worst nightmare but yeah we've just found one right by the restaurant we're having our lunch in little nests and they're all in there all tucked in there tucked in their little nests i don't even know if i can show you won't show it probably. Just going in and out, in and out. Oh, they're flying everywhere. So we're at the restaurant where we're going to have our lunch, and it looks like it's Gatto's feeding time. There's two there, and then there's two waiting. And as you can see from the Shadows, there's lots of birds flying everywhere, which must be thinking cats, cats heaven. Casa de Vela Fonte is the restaurant where we had our meal, three course meal, absolutely beautiful. And then at the end, we were able to sign the wall. A lovely end to a lovely week celebrating both our birthdays in Portugal. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao for now.